Hey guys, so today I'm going to be drawing Rue from Euphoria. And I absolutely love this show. And I woke up and I was like, you know what? I feel like drawing Rue, so I'm going to draw Rue because one, I love Zendaya. Two, she does an amazing as Rue and she gives a phenomenal performance as well as the other characters and, you know, cast members on the show. They are amazing. So today I decided to do that and that's what I'm doing right now. So I already started out with a pre-drawn illustration and right now I'm just filling in the background, giving, you know, some shapes and stuff like that. The background is like demons and a Grim Reaper because essentially what I try to conceptualize this as is like her running or biking away from her demons. And that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm just blocking in some tones, I guess values and stuff like that. And just making some distinctions and light. Uh, this is all just a base, basically. I'm going to keep building on that because I am working in ink, but I always water it down, so kind of use it as a watercolor. Don't know if that's traditionally uh, something I can say it's watercolor if it's not, but I'm going to say it's watercolor. It's water. Actually, maybe it's not because, you know, black is not a color. Anyway, so right now I'm just adding in more darker tones and stuff like that to make some contrast between certain things that she has like her pants and the bike seat i want to make sure you can tell she's sitting on the bike seat and that's not like one long paint leg or whatever i don't know uh so i'm, I'm darkening the background you know adding a little water to the tip of the brush but not too much because i really do want it to be dark i knew that would be my darkest spot for this particular piece so that's what i'm doing here you know they're evil so duh and with rue i don't want to like make her I guess it's weird because you know she's kind of a, she's clean not obviously she's in drugs she's doing drugs she's not clean but like she kind of has a grungy look so for this I really didn't want to like make her perfect because I had to reference certain things uh from like the internet using Zendaya you know her actual photos of herself and she's very you know clean and, and glamorous, but I had to like remind myself that the character's not that way. So I need to be a little bit more rough around the edges. So that's what I was trying to do and the way I was painting her and drawing her as well. And right now I'm doing the line work, which is my favorite part of any painting I do, uh, particularly when I do a, this series, uh, which is called my walking series, but I started to evolve it from not people just walking, but actually interacting or, or on an object or something like that. So that's what this is. But uh, yeah, it's my favorite part of any anything I do because of line work, I don't know what it was. At first I was really trying to do realistic realistic things when I first started college and prior to going to college. But I just, I just I end up not liking it as much. With this, I still kind of do realism in the face, you know, in a certain way. But ultimately I do like the cartoonish look, which is why, you know, these uh, things like these uh, portraits I do with the characters are people in entertainment are always somewhat caricature like and if you go to my website go to kidart.com you'll see like a series a noodle walking series you'll see that so i'm just adding like small details and stuff and i'm using a toothbrush which i dipped in ink and just splattering some marks on it which i learned this in college really handy tip if you want to add some type of grunge or some type of dirty look to the overall image or just like a nice aesthetic i love it so I realized that, oh, Jack Fred is like post-production, but I realized that I forgot to add the bike chain, which you'll see later on. I did add it in when I started to color this digitally because I'm working traditionally and then I scan it in and I just color it because now I'm realizing that's the best way for me to color it and also, you know, fix mistakes that I may make if I was just to do it traditionally, which is good because when you make mistakes trad traditionally, sometimes you have to like work what you got and figure out a way, which when I first started out doing things like this, it definitely taught me ways to make my mistakes better. And this is the final image of that drawing or painting, I guess you could say. Now I'm starting on actually coloring the piece uh, via Procreate, which I love Procreate uh, for the sure fact that I can take it anywhere and I can do drawings on the go at any point I want but I hate the layers. The layer part of Procreate is really annoying and I really wish that there are certain ways you can extend the layers, but if your uh, canvas is, certain, is a certain size, you cannot do that. So the way I get around it now is I do as much as I can in one uh, document and then I just export that and finish the rest later. So I'm just trying to figure out the lining stuff and how I want the colors to be 
you know, making certain things darker. Uh, essentially, I just made the line work multiplied and it kind of added in the color and the background and it kind of just posed the, the um, highlights on the layer above the actual, I'm having a brain fart, the actual line work. <laughs> Because all this is is just layer modes and figuring out the layers I want to like do and stuff like that. And it's just layer modes. That's all it is really. So I took that out, uh, that composition. I exported it and I came right back to it just to add final touches to my things. I wasn't satisfied with what I ended with. So right in this particular document that you see here, it's mostly me just adding in small details, adding a little bit more highlights. My friend commented that I that it was too dark, so I wanted to add in some highlight. Uh, you can't see it here, but you'll see in the actual final what you're about to see now up close. I added some glitter under her eyes and a tear mark, and some streaks of light because you know why not? <laughs> I love light. I love lines. I'll try to break out lines anywhere if I can. So yeah, this is pretty much the ending result. And this is how it looks and stuff like that. I mean, I don't know if I'm really good at this whole thing, but you know, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And uh, thanks, subscribe and like if you like this video. <laughs> if not, then, well, I love you.